I think that the, the key role of the stores channel is no longer to hold large amounts of inventory because that can be done more cheaply and efficiently online. Uh, and, and also, having large amounts of inventory in store stops your store staff from being able to do what they really need to be doing, which is interacting with customers. Because I don't think many people realise, but actually over 50% of store staff activity is related to administrative and in inventory type issues. You know, tagging and retagging and moving inventory, uh, receipting it, uh, counting it, and, and, and also things like uh, till operation and cashing up and those sort of things, which are really non-value added tasks. So if you want your staff, they're also very hard work. So if you want your staff to be fresh and, 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 and to enjoy their job and to be available to spend large amounts of quality time with customers, you have to reduce the administrative burden on them. So all of that, and also it's very expensive to, to, to uh, stock large amounts of inventory because it means you have to have a large space. So, you know, I'm in, uh, in, in great favour of, of, you know, what I call compact lean stores, which are essentially stores to, uh, to manage that customer interaction, to uh, manage the brand experience and education and community uh, with... You know, there are different ways you can run the model. You can have lean inventory, you can have inventory that you show but that you don't sell, you can have bestseller inventory that you sell, uh, but the, the sort of long tail of products, because every retailer has a long tail of products that don't sell that much in a month, that that is, that is uh, done online. So there's different ways you can cut the model, but essential, as you've said quite rightly, to, to that lean store model, where the store role changes, is that you've got to, it's got to be backed up by super efficient e-commerce system because if you can't deliver five or six days then the fact that you don't have inventory so much inventory available in your stores is going to kill you um, you've got to have I mean like uh, Alibaba's got uh, its um, HEMA stores in uh, grocery stores in China which have I think they have about 2,000 they have 30,000 SKUs available in the store but only 2,000 of them are actually physically available. The others are all available on screens. So all the basics like sort of washing powder, salt, uh, you know, things that you don't really care about but you just want to reorder, they're all ordered on screens. And the store itself is devoted to live food, you know, really, it's really like super whole foods, you know, with lots of live food displays and, and also eating in store. Uh, you know, and it's, it's got a great like uh, market atmosphere. But a lot of the stuff, but, but it's, it, the key to it is backed up in the major Chinese cities. It's backed up by a two-hour uh, delivery window. So everything you order on those screens is going to come to your home uh, within two hours. So, you know, that, that's why it works is because, you know, you, you can come in and, you know, you've got the food for tonight and it will come to you within two hours by the time you've gone home and showered or whatever, you, the food's there. So, you know, you've got to have both. It's a slick e-commerce system backing up a really fun experiential store where the staff's not exhausted all the time uh, through administrative work. That to me is the sweet spot.